Hello. Have you guys ever been asked this question? Please find the most significant resonance form for this molecule. And then you're kind of like, mm, no. So the point of this video is that I wanted to show you guys how fast you can actually solve this problem and how simple it actually is. And so before we begin, the first thing I want you to know or think about is that just think about resonance as simply taking electrons from the area that has excess electrons, so it's usually going to be a negative charge, and bringing it to an area that's positive charge. So uh, the reason why I think that way is because you have to realize that the positive charge is just an area that has no electrons, more or less. That's why it's positive, because it's missing some negatively charged things, and those things are electrons. So I kind of think about it as filling in the gap. I think of positive charges as, as just a gap that doesn't have any electrons. So for this positive charge here, let's try and fill it, fill it in first. Let's focus here and not worry about the negative charge for now. So where can we pull electrons from to fill in the gap or neutralize the oxygen? So take a second and think about it. And we'll pause me if you need to. But the closest area of electrons that are actually mobile or that can move is the double bond right here. So they can just, you could start your arrow from the center of the double bond and go to the oxygen, just like that, right? And What's going to happen is that you can think about the bond as just two electrons. Oxygen has one before, carbon has one. But now in the resonance, the two electrons simply slide over and both go on to the oxygen. So I'm going to just erase my electrons. As a result, carbon's going to lose electrons, so the positive charge is going to go onto the carbon and, the, and leave the oxygen because the oxygen got electrons. And now the gap or the void of electrons, empty space, is right on the carbon. So now we have to ask ourselves, where are we going to pull electrons from to fill in the gap? And so take a second, hit pause if you need to. Well, either of these double bonds are fine, actually. They're, they can both resonate in. But I'm, I'm just going to use the bottom one. So this one can do the same thing. You want to actually point to the, the, uh, the bond and not bring it to the carbon that will become positive after this resonance. Because, uh, remember, the carbon only lost one electron in that resonance, and it has a positive charge. If you bring this arrow, to, if you brought the arrow to the carbon, that's like saying that you're putting two electrons from the bond both onto the carbon. And we don't need to. It only needs one. That's the common um, misconception that students have. So be careful. Don't make the same mistake. Okay? And I made that mistake, too, when I was uh, in Orgo 1. So it's okay if you make it. Don't worry. And anyway, so you bring the two electrons from the bond to here, and you basically shift the double bond over like that so that this carbon gets one electron, and this carbon still has his electron, or he still has a electron. But the issue is that he lost electrons now. So the positive charge is going to go from here to here. Okay. Um, so then ask yourselves again, where are we going to get electrons to fill in the gap? Um, let's see, so we can technically, see, so if there's, a if there's a positive charge that forms here, we could shift this over, or we could shift this over as well. But since the negative charge is up here, and that's the area with excess electrons, let's try and pull electrons from up there. And so we, are, we can just do this. Shift the two electrons down like that, boom, that carbon gets one electron. His positive charge is gone now. Uh, this carbon's fine because two electrons, they just simply shift it. He still has an electron, but this guy here, he gets a positive charge. So you got to, well, he, yeah, he's going to get a positive charge. So then you need to neutralize that. And there's a, you could pull this, let's see, you could probably pull this up here, this bond up here to give it electrons. But there's nitrogen with excess electrons already. So let's just take his electrons and bring it down like that. And once again, to the double bond, not to the carbon. Carbon is only missing one electron because that happened. So you only want to give it one electron, boom, not two. And also, if you give it two electrons, nitrogen is going to lose two electrons, and it's going to become positive. Uh, yeah, so we just basically neutralize our entire molecule. So that's pretty good. And there's a pretty good chance that this is going to be the most significant resonance form that we can get from our molecule. Oh, yeah, and also just as a reminder, in general, the most stable resonance structure, uh, every single atom has an octet, so eight electrons around it. And then beyond just every atom having an octet and being stable, you want to just make sure you minimize the number of charges you have in your resonance structure. If you have uh, you know, two positives and a negative, then you can probably reduce it down to just one positive charge. But yeah, anyways, so in this resonance, or what we did, we neutralized the, the charges. So now the next step is to draw 
our resulting resonance. Now, I just recommend you to just draw the backbone first before you change any bonds. So what I mean by the backbone is like draw the single bond, draw that as a single bond, because we know that double bond moved. Draw the rings. Uh, don't draw this double bond, because we know it moves. Don't draw that double bond, because it moves. Anything that didn't move, you could draw it in. But anything that did move, don't draw it in yet. So just draw like these bonds, and just draw like the backbone of our molecule. Okay. So take a second, hit pause if you need to, and then come right back, and then we'll finish up this problem. All right, did you guys get the backbone? So this is what I was referring to by the backbone. Um, notice I didn't draw the, the, the second bond of the double bond because, like I said, we know it moves, so don't draw it. Oh, I should have probably drawn the lone pairs because we know that we didn't, we didn't touch the lone pairs at all, so you draw it in. I didn't draw this double bond because we know it moved. I drew this because we knew that it didn't move. I did not draw this one because it moved. I did draw that, same reason. I kept this lone pair because we did not touch it, and I kept the methyl group. OK, so now this part, we basically just fill in what changed. So we got rid of the double bond, and electrons came onto the oxygen. So there we go. He's now neutral, because he got electrons. Um, the double bond is now over here, like that. OK, there is now a double bond over here, like this. So I'll just throw that over here. And then there's now a double bond over here, like that. OK, and then in terms of charges, everything should be OK. And then nitrogen is now neutral because, like I said before, he lost electrons in the resonance. OK, so let's see. Yeah, this would be the most significant resonance structure, resonance structure for this molecule. OK, and that's resonance made easy. OK, so now if there are any other concepts involved in resonance that you'd like me to cover, for example, formal charges, you can feel free to just tell me in the comment down below, so this way I know. And I'll try and make a video for you guys on that. OK. Um, as always, if you like this video, make sure you like it down there and share this video with your friends. Make sure you get, you're subscribed so you get updated when I make new videos. And then let's see, I also offer private tutoring now. Just check the, con the description box down below. It gives you all the information. I also have an official website. You could check that down there. And then I guess I will see you guys in another video then. Bye. And I forgot. Thanks for watching. Oops. Uh... Hello. Have you guys ever been asked this question? Please find the most significant for that. Blah, blah, blah. Hello. Have you guys ever been asked this question? Please find the most significant resonant form for. Oh, I failed. God damn it. Please don't work. Okay. Mm, nope.